Okay guys, just a quick uh, intro to this video. Smoking my uh, Legend with some... Um, I can't say what I call it on camera, but uh, something mix, which is just the leftovers of all my bowls. And here's the weather, check this out. Don't know if you can see on my glasses, but it's raining a lot. Back in a minute when I'm in the dry. Here's a bit more of the lovely weather we're having. All of you guys who said in the uh, VRs to my giveaway, oh, it's always raining in England, it's always foggy. Yeah, okay, you're kind of right. This is a pretty average day. It's not very nice. But there, just on the horizon, is salvation. That's my shelter. So I'm going to jump in there, and I'm going to kick the video off. So I'll see you in a second. Right, let's start this video properly. Happy Cobb Tuesday, YouTube. As I said before, I'm smoking my legend. And I believe this is a, a straight legend, and it's a Rob Roy. I'm not sure what the Rob Roy means. Maybe it's the shape of the pole, maybe not. And in it, I'm smoking, um, let's just say it rhymes with Hit Mix. I call it Snuff's Hit Mix. It's all the leftovers from bags, bags and tins and jars. There's literally a bit of everything in here. Aromatics. There's a couple of strands of Penzance. There's a couple of tiny little bits left of Stonehaven. There's Englishes, there's Virginias, Burley. And weirdly, weirdly, it smokes okay. It's surprising how well it smokes for what's in there. It sort of tastes aromatic. I think there's predominantly aromatic scraps in here. Stay lit well for saying that I've just been walking in the rain. And it's not too bad. So that's the first part of this video out of the way with. And two more parts I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is going to be uh, this week's Snuff of the Week video. I figured I'd do it outside because why not? It's raining and it's horrible. So what perfect what more perfect place could you ask for? So this week's snuff of the week is Toke Vanilla. I rediscovered this snuff um, uh, four or five days ago and uh, I've just been going back back to it over and over again. When I first got this I really wasn't a huge fan. I really wasn't. It was always okay, but not, you know, it was never at the top of the list. Whereas this week I've just been going back to it over and over again. Um, it's a really nice sweet snuff, um, but it's not overly sweet. It's like a mildly sweet snuff. Um, it's not hugely vanilla, it's just sort of sweet, which I really like. Um, so I'm going to open the tin now, pause the video, uh, and then come back in a sec. Okay, here we have the stuff. It's a normal tote consistency. Oh, I've just got a battery low, so I'm going to have to do this quick. It's a normal tote consistency. It's a really nice grind, and I find it really easy to take. So, without further ado, I'm going to get a big wad. Oh, that's close. Do you see that? Big wadge of this. Nice big wadge, and I'm going to have some. That's nice. Switch hands. I didn't bring a stuff hanky with me, so I'm probably going to have stuff all over my nose. Straight away, that sweetness. Just a bit of burn, a tiny, tiny little, just a hint of burn, which is perfect for a sweet snuff. 
and then after you get that vanilla -y sweetness really good fantastic snuff um, I've completely turned a 180 on this one um, first off I was not very happy with it but now loving it so uh, if you get a chance to try some vanilla I definitely recommend it if you like sweet snuffs, caramel, toffee um, hazelnuts the vanilla will go perfectly it will even go well mixed with uh, coffee or anything, anything else sweet or even natural it will go well with I think uh, so I'm going to try that later on this week thanks for watching this part of the video guys and if you're only a snuff taker you can turn off now because the rest of the video is going to be with my general pipe I'm going to do a quick uh, smoke of that and tell you guys how it is so uh, I'll see you soon welcome back everyone thank you for sticking around um, I'm really hoping the battery doesn't die on me during this video so if it cuts out I'll have to pick off with my pick up where I left off with my phone so making my general now here it is it's a straight general and uh, I picked up a straight and a bent general as a lot of you probably saw and then I posted on Google Plus uh, which one to put in my contest everybody said bent so I'm keeping the straight let me just say this thing smokes awesome um, I've got a bowl full, I hope you can see that of, uh, of Penzance, this is my last of the Penzance it was super dried out um, the chap who sent it to me uh, apologised, he knew it was dried out, he was just giving me some free samples so I couldn't complain he knew it was dried out but um, he thought it'd be nice for me just to try it and I do enjoy it, it's really nice and this is my last bowl and what a huge bowl is, look how big it is compared to my face massive first thing I noticed about this general was it smokes super cool just gonna swap hands my hands are getting a bit tired I lit it I tamped it and I lit it again I can puff on it as hard as I want and it's smoking super cool um, smoke almost feels cool coming through the stem and what I believe that must be um, because the bowl is so high height wise the smoke's actually cooling down as it passes through the unburned tobacco which leaves me to suspect once I get down to the bottom of the bowl it'll smoke hot like an or as it'll smoke a normal temperature just like any other normal pipe so I'm going to carry on this video as I go down through but so far general and Penzance very good very good see you in a sec welcome back guys thanks for sticking with me as you can see the weather's not improving nice and overcast just how we like it here so the general smoking awesomely uh, I can't really fault this pipe at all it's got a little bit warmer than when I last spoke to you about it but that's expected it's coming down the bowl um, the outside of the pipe because I'm a fast smoker I always have been I probably always will be um, it's quite warm on the outside of the bowl um, but it's smoking great really good just perfect um, I'm about halfway down the bowl so I'm about here where my thumb is and uh, yeah I'm going to smoke it to the ashes smoke the fire out of it and I'll see you soon welcome back guys this is the last instalment you'll be pleased to hear of the general uh, the general part of this video uh, it's not finished but it's pretty close to the bottom still smoking really good it's nice and cool it's never got too hot smoke great 
obviously that's partly due to the tobacco, due to the you know conditions and everything. But no problems for me from me whatsoever. I definitely recommend getting in general, and uh, especially for the price. What are they? Nine dollars, something like that, on Aristocob. You can't really say no to that, can you? <laughs> Take care, guys. See you next time.